That's Bluey Max there talking with the players and uh, Bluey Max, the, I call him the North Centre for 2012 tournament 10-10 uh, we're playing. I hinted to you earlier on it, uh, to bring you a, a full coverage and give you um, a, a, a wide perspective of what took place on Saturday across the country. To do that we had to call in some of our officials like the softball league to hear about the, the formalities. Uh, Mr. Rit uh, Leonard Harpershad is representing the league. Mr. Richard Sugdeo, he's the project manager for, on behalf of GT&T, the sponsor, the main sponsor uh, for the 1010 tournament. So I have them in the studio with me here to get a little insight on in how they perceive the start of the tournament to be. Gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Now, uh, Rich, if, if you don't mind, I'll start off with you. Um, uh, first of all, we, we had unfavorable weather conditions a few weeks ago. You had to delay the start of the tournament. Then crunch time came. Saturday, Everest ground, everything seemed to be in place. You're pretty happy, aren't you? Yes, Naeem, definitely. We, the sponsors and the coordinating committee, are extremely pleased that the 2012 tournament is finally on its way. Uh, all, the fan all the planning fell into place. Uh, the Guyana Softball League with their uh, groundwork, with their officials and everything fell into place. So we've seen a very exciting start. As a matter of fact, we've seen some records being broken on the very first day of play. So. The planning went, fell into place, the players have fall, fell into place, and it, even the games are exciting and going up very well. Exciting. And th have you assessed like, uh, what you've seen in the uh, previous two years, comparing the standard I'm talking about here? Is it uh, more competitive? Uh, what's your general feeling? Oh, most definitely, Naeem. From the very first game I've, I've been looking at, I've seen uh, the first four deliveries went over the ropes for six. Four sixes in the first four der deliveries of a match. Did you count Royston Ranch Paul six, six in there because that he took the ball off? I apologize, that would be five sixes now. <laughs> so the, the, the general thing is the, it's, the sport has been lifted. The level of play has definitely improved. We've, I've see, I'm seeing that from even the preparation, the warm-ups that you, talk, you spoke about earlier. The way these guys are organized and you know, the, the strict regimen they're working with, it shows that softball has generally lifted because of this tournament 10-10. But, but uh, that's something you actually predicted because from uh, 1,200 or 1,224 teams we've gone down to 942 in 2012. And uh, if I remember well, I was discussing this with you earlier on and your prediction was it has scaled down the number of teams because the teams are splitting up and forming stronger contingents. That, um, that's resulting in a higher level of competition, am I right? Definitely. Um, when we started this tournament, Naeem, it, the whole idea of our uh, CEO was to foster community development through sports. Uh, we've done very well with this so far, with that agenda, but now we've seen other spin-offs. We've seen economic growth out of it. We've seen, the, like you've just said, the, the sport itself lifting. Mm -hmm. Now. 1224 teams in 2011 we've had to scale down to 942 teams and you're right we've seen three and four teams breaking up to form a more formidable unit because they're not just playing for fun anymore they're training throughout the year so they want something to hold on to at the end of the tournament and say hey we've competed in 1010 tournament and we have something to show for it so either they qualify for super 16 or they're going for the big box at the end of it now, uh, Leonard, uh, uh, thanks again for dropping in. It, last year and the year before, this is year number three for you in this tournament, um, were all the I's dotted, T's crossed um, for the start of weekend. This, this is a, a phenomenal amount of work, and I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate this fact. So the softball league, they're under severe pressure. In your opinion, things went smoothly for you? As, yes, um, from our point of view, um, things went uh, well. Um, as Richard, Richard alluded to, it was a wonderful day of cricket. And uh, that it's not without hiccups. And no tournament of this magnitude is going to go through smoothly from beginning to end. We are going to have problems. My understanding is that there, they had a few teams that tried to cheat. Yes, there were some dishonest people. And, but we, we, are, we are alert and we are vigilant and, and um, we will... Um, Ten teams were disqualified in the, uh, earlier in the first day and twelve on the second day. Ten and twelve? Oh, yeah. But th th um, those figures are, are, are much larger than the two years before, am I right? Yes, yeah. um, it, it is. Um, but uh, we're vigilant and, and we'll continue to do the things that we're supposed to do. But Richard, if I just come back to you, we've spent hours, days and possibly months exhorting uh, the, the teams before they got registered 
about the same issue. You, you're, you're playing with $30 million here in prize money, uh, $2 million at the finals, and uh, this is not what you expected. No, definitely. It's unfortunate that uh, these incidents occur, Naeem, but again, that $30 million in cash and prices is very tempting. Mm -hmm. But I still expect the, pay the players out there to, to be you know, a little bit more responsible and don't attempt to do things like this. We've always said from the time we started this tournament, we have systems in place to track these kind of things. And the Ghana Softball League has been policing the system and they've been doing an excellent job doing so. So we don't expect you guys to be doing uh, you know, this kind of uh, stuff. Pretty unfortunate, and then they've missed their chances. But let's go back, uh, Leonard, if you don't mind, to the uh, competition itself, the games. And Richie was uh, hinting early on that we had some records being broken. Um, can well, you that's right, that's right. Um, we saw a century being made in 21 balls. Um, you had the highest score being overtaken, etc. So let's leave it to centuries first. We had how many? Two centuries. Four, four in the first weekend? Yeah, four centuries you had in the first weekend, actually. Um, I think I may have their names, actually. Uh, Patrick Ruplal made 104 not out. We had Avinash Sukdeo, I think this is from Esikribo, Leonard. Made, uh, yeah, he's from East Bank. Made 100 as well. He made 100 not out. We had a Safraz Hanif that made 100 as well. And Andy Das, I think this is a guy from Esikribo, that made 104 with nine sixes and four fours. So, so four centuries recorded in the first... Uh, First days, first weekends play. And the Sugdales are featuring prominently in 2012. They right? always have been, Naeem. <laughs> now, that, that you had uh, centuries. You said uh, some, there was some other record that was broken? Yes, I think the highest tournament thus far since 1010 has started. Highest total? The highest total, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Farm 11 out of the East Bank made 245. If I'm not mistaken, I, um, Leonard, last year our highest total was 236 on yes. a specific team? That's right. Yeah, 236. So that record was broken on the very first day. Farm 11 broke that record and made 245 in 10 overs, Naeem. Mm, great stuff. That's over 24 runs in an over. Now, you've gone down, Leonard, from 942 teams, some 400-odd uh, games already played off. Um, the, 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 the fatigue, if I can uh, describe it that way, on the part of the Guyana Softball League, that should lessen now because half the, those amount of teams will be playing at the That's weekend. right, that's right. But we still want, we are urging people to come out there and, and support it. Even though they might have lost in, in, in the first round, we want them to come out there and support the games and, and, and also to learn something from the other teams. And any strong message you need to send out? I mean, all the fixtures are there on time. Uh, what's the general response like? Uh, the fixtures are, are there, it's being processed again for this weekend is coming. Again, um, players, the fixtures will be in the Chronicle newspaper on Thursdays. The first weekend we had it on Thursday and Friday, but from now on what it will be on, onwards, it will just be in the Thursday's Chronicle newspaper. So you need to check those newspapers and subsequently it will all, also be posted on our Facebook page. So keep checking there for your fixtures, be ready to play, and gt t is coming to Port Morant on Saturday, and uh, we're on Helena Ground on Sunday. Uh, the other guys will be there to tell you about our promotions that we have. Fellas, thank you. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Leonard Harpershaw there and Richard Sugdew talking with us. Have you been texting recently? You want the SUV, don't you? You'll hear about that when we come back. Bluey Max will be the man. Ten, ten fans. You can win this fully loaded, customized SUV with Lamborghini doors from GTNT. Text register to 620 to answer four questions. Every four questions answered correctly gives you a coupon to win this magnificent ride and many other prizes. Answers are in the GTNT's Tantan Magazine 2012 edition. Get yours today. More coupons, more chances to win. So keep texting. GTNT Tantan, it's our game. See press for details. Having difficulty finding innovative electronics and great deals? Then come down to Gizmos and Gadgets for electronics that will make your life easier.